Namaskar. In this session, let us do activity 4. In this activity, let us perform experiments to understand formation of images by a concave mirror and a convex lens. For each of these cases, we will understand the formation of images with the help of ray diagrams and then perform the experiments. So, let's start. Activity 4 Aim To study the nature and size of the images formed by a concave mirror and a convex lens using a candle and a screen. We will observe this for different distances of the candle from the mirror and the lens. Alright? Apparatus required are a concave mirror, a convex lens, a stand, lighted candle, a screen and a measuring scale. Image formation by spherical mirrors. Okay. So, let us understand different cases. In the sense, let us take different positions of object and using ray diagram, let us find the image positions. All right. So, let us consider the object to be beyond C. So, let us consider this concave mirror. This is the principal axis, the pole of the mirror, the focus and the center of curvature which we denote by C. Alright. Let us consider an object beyond C. Of course, the object can be anywhere beyond C. Alright. So, let us consider this object. Now, infinite number of rays come from every point of the object, right? But for co convenience and to avoid confusion, let us take two rays coming from the point, right? So, when these rays are incident on the concave mirror, after reflection, they meet to form the image. And the image is formed between F and C. You can see this is a real and inverted image and also the size of the image is smaller that is diminished than the object size. Alright. Let us case, take the second case that is when the object is at C. Let us place the object at C. So when the rays are incident on the mirror, the rays get reflected to give the image at C, at the same point as the object. You can see the image is real, inverted and of the same size as the object. Right? Now let us keep the object between F and C. Let us place it between F and C. You can see when the rays are incident on the mirror, they get reflected and this time we get the image beyond C. Right? You can see it is real and inverted and also enlarged. Alright? Now, if this object goes closer and closer to F, the image goes further and further away from C, right? And also the image is enlarged, all right? Now, at F, what happens? If the, when the object is placed at F, image is formed at infinity, right? And also the image will be enlarged. Now, when the object is placed between F and P, something interesting happens. Alright? So, when the 
rays are incident on the mirror, they get reflected, right? And if we observe these reflected rays from here, it appears as if they are coming from behind the mirror. That means they are coming from this, what we call the image, behind the mirror. Now you can see this image is erect and enlarged. But it is not inverted and real. It cannot be taken on the screen. All right. But it can be observed and it appears it is behind the mirror. Okay. If the rays are incident parallel to the principal axis, you can see that after reflection, the rays pass through the focus. That means if the object is at infinity, at infinite distance, then the rays are almost parallel to the principal axis and after reflection they pass through focus. That means when the object is at infinity, the image is formed at the focus and it's a highly diminished image. Now, let us perform an experiment. All right, let's start. In this video, you can see two parallel beams emerging from two laser torches. These beams are incident on the concave mirror and after reflection, these beams converge to meet at the focus. Now that we have understood formation of images in a concave mirror with the help of ray diagrams, let us perform this activity that is an experiment using a concave mirror and a candle as an object. Alright? Now, before we start the experiment, let us write down what is given and also keep the tabular column ready. So, we have been given focal length of the concave mirror as 18.0 centimeters. So, let us write down 18.0 centimeter. Therefore, the radius of curvature is given by 2 times the focal length. So, therefore, it will be equal to 36.0 centimeter. Observation table for concave mirror. So, we have here object position and we will be taking three positions beyond C, at C and between F and C. We will be taking some object distances and we will write them here and measure the corresponding image distances and write them here accordingly. We will also notice the size of the image and nature of the image and write them here. Alright? We have drawn a line parallel to the principal axis and fixed a measuring tape over the line. This is the concave mirror of focal length approximately 18 centimeters. So, this is the focus. Then is C center of curvature around 36 centimeters. Okay. Let us keep a object at 80 centimeters beyond C. Right. And observe the image on the screen. And also measure the distance, image distance. Then let us keep the object at C and measure it on the screen. Then we will keep the object between F and C at around 30 centimeters and observe the image on the screen and find where is the image formed. All right. After that, let us keep the object between F and pole of the mirror and we will see that the image is not obtained on the screen. But 
it appears to be behind the mirror. To observe this image, we have to look into the mirror from this direction and see the image inside the mirror. All right. So let's get started. So the object is placed at 80 centimeters and you can see the screen is moved towards C. We have, we have cross C and between F and C. And you can see on the screen that the image is getting sharper and sharper. All right. So you can see a beautiful real inverted and diminished image on the screen. Correct. Let us measure the distance. It is 23 point. Yes, 23.7. All right. So you can see when the object is Beyond C, the image is formed between F and C. In this case, it is formed at 23.7 centimeters. So, let us write these observations. We have taken object distance as 80.0 centimeters, right? We have already written this centimeter here. The image distance measured was 23.7 centimeters all right the size of the image is diminished right and nature of the image is real and inverted all right now let us keep the object at C and you can see the screen is moving towards the center of curvature. A beautiful image is formed on the screen which is real inverted and of the same size formed at C. You can see even some part of the candle. So let us write this observation at C means how much? The object is at 36.0 centimeters. What was the image distance? We found that image distance was also 36.0 centimeters. What was the size of the image? Same size. Right? And nature of the image? Again, it was real and inverted now the object is between f and c at around 30 centimeters right and you can see the screen is being moved away from c and the image is getting enlarged enlarged image is formed beyond c Correct. It is real, inverted and enlarged. Darker is the surrounding, better is the image seen. Let us measure the image distance and you can see image is formed beyond C at 44.9 centimeters. All right. So let us write the observation. Between F and C, object distance, we have taken it as 30 centimeters, right? 30.0 centimeters. What was the image distance we got? 44.9 centimeters. What was the size of the image? The size of the image was enlarged. Right? And what was the nature of the image? Real and inverted. Alright? 
Now, let us move this object towards F and remove the screen. You will see the image is formed far away from the mirror. We can see an enlarged image. We can see an enlarged image formed on the wall. It is real and inverted and enlarged. Now, let us take the object between F and P. And you will see a beautiful erect an enlarged image formed inside the mirror. Right? You can see that it, this image cannot be taken on the screen. So we call it virtual image. Right? So in this experiment we saw that as the object moved towards the mirror, the image moved away from the mirror. Also, the image got enlarged. Right? And when the object was between F and P, the image was virtual and erect. Also, the image was enlarged. So, the real image can be taken on the screen but the virtual image cannot be taken on the screen. Isn't this very beautiful? Image formation by double convex lens. So let us consider the first case when the object is placed beyond 2f. So let us consider this lens, the optical center P. This is the principal axis, the focus we denote it by capital F and 2 times F. That means this is the focal length and this distance is 2 times the focal length. Alright, similarly on the other side F and 2F. So this is the focal length. And this will be, this distance will be 2 times the focal length. Alright. We have one curvature and the second curvature for a lens. But a lens as a whole, we have focal length and 2 times focal length. Similarly, focal length here, this distance and 2 times focal length is from here to here. Okay. Let us consider the object placed beyond 2F. We can place the object anywhere beyond 2f and we will observe where is the image formed and what is the size and the nature of the image. As mentioned earlier, we will be considering only two rays from a point for convenience right? and to avoid confusion. These rays incident on the lens after refraction form an image between f and 2f. Alright, you can see the image is real and inverted and the image is diminished compared to the size of the object. Alright, it is of the smaller size. Let us proceed to the next case. So now, when the object is placed at 2f, let us see where the image is formed. So, let us place the object at 2f. Alright. So, the rays from this object after getting refracted from the lens form an image at 2f. So, you can see when the object is at 2f, image is also formed at 2f. The size of the image is same as the object size. The nature is real and inverted image. Alright. Let us take the next case. When the object is between F and 2F. 
So let us move the object between f and 2f. All right. Any place or any uh, distance from p between f and 2f can be considered. The rays incident on this lens get refracted and image is formed beyond 2f. Image is formed beyond 2f. Right? You can see the image is real, inverted and enlarged compared to the size of the object. Alright? You also realize as we approach with the object towards F, the image moves away from F. Right? Then we will be also seeing what happens as we move from F to P. That means we place the object between F and P. So let's start. When the object is placed at F, the rays from the object after refraction through the lens go parallel to each other. That means the image is formed at infinity. So we see when the object is at focus, the image is formed at infinity at a very large distance from the lens compared to the focal length. Alright? Now let's see what happens when we move the object between F and P. So, when the object is placed between F and P, if you observe from this side, okay, the rays appear to come from behind the lens okay that is on the same side of the object it appears that the rays are coming from this what we call it a, a, as a image all right so the image formed is virtual erect and on the same side of the object all right when the incident rays are parallel to the principal axis, after refraction through the lens, the rays pass through the focus. That means when the object is placed at infinity, the image is formed at the focus. The image is real, inverted and highly diminished. Alright, now that we have understood image formation by a convex lens, with the help of ray diagrams, let us perform this activity using a lens and a candle as an object. Before that, let us see this case, okay, this particular case using lasers. Alright, here you can see two laser beams, right, parallel to each other coming from two laser torches. They are incident on the lens. So that we see the laser beams very clearly, I have used agarbattis. Due to that smoke, we can see the laser beams very clearly. Alright? So the two beams, parallel beams are incident on the lens and after refraction, they converge. Right? and meet at the focus. You can see the laser beams still travel further. You can see the two spots far away from the lens. All right. Isn't it beautiful? Now, before we start the experiment, let us write down what is given and also keep the tabular column ready. So, let's start. We are given focal length of the convex lens equal to 10.0 centimeter. Therefore, the 2 times focal length will be equal to 20.0 centimeter. Observation table for convex lens. The object positions are beyond 2F, 
at 2f and between f and 2f. We will write down the object distances for all these three cases and note down corresponding image distances and write them in this tabular column accordingly. We will also note down the size of the image and nature of the image. So let's start. This is a double convex lens. Its focal length is around 10 centimeters which I have marked on both sides of the lens. So this is focus and this distance is 2 times the focal length. Alright. So let us consider the first case and place the object at 40 centimeters beyond 2f. Alright. I have just taken it 40 centimeter. Anything beyond 2f can be taken. Okay. So, for object distance 40 centimeters, let us find where the image is formed and measure the image distance. So, let's start. Let me move the screen towards the lens so that I get a sharp image. Okay. So, you can see it is not focused yet. Alright. Let me take it still closer to get a focused or sharp image. Alright. So you can see here the image is getting sharper and sharper, right? So we get a nice diminished image of the flame of the candle, all right? Image distance is 14 centimeters. So let us mark this image distance as 14 centimeters. So for object distance 40 centimeters, image distance is 14 centimeters. Let us write down for object position beyond 2f. The object distance we have taken as 40.0 centimeters. And corresponding image distance what we got is 14.0 centimeters. The size of the image was diminished. Right? And the nature of the image was real and inverted. Okay? Let us place the object at 2f. Alright. And find where the image is formed. You can see we have, we have to move the screen now away from the lens. And you can see the image is getting sharper. And we get a nice, sharp, beautiful image of the candle flame at 2f. So let us mark this image distance at 2f. We have found it is at 20 centimeters. So for object distance 20 centimeters, image distance is also 20 centimeters. At 2f, what is the object distance? 20 centimeters, right? 20.0 centimeters and we found the image distance to be also 20 centimeters, right? So, 20.0 centimeters. What is the size of the image? Same size. And nature of the image was real and inverted. Okay? Let us place the object between f and 2f. I have taken it as 18 centimeters. Any distance between f and 2f can be taken. Alright. So, object is at 18 centimeters. Alright. Let us find where the image is formed. So, since I have brought the object closer to f, image will go beyond 2f. Okay. 
image will be found beyond the f so let's move the screen away from the lens i'm moving the screen back and forth to see where the a sharp image is formed you can see a very beautiful enlarged image on the screen so we got the image distance as 23 centimeters let us mark this image distance and write so for object distance 18 centimeters we have got image distance as 23 centimeters okay when we place the object between f and 2f we took the object distance as 18 centimeters, right? 18.0 centimeters. And the image distance which we found is 23.0 centimeters, right? What is the size of the image enlarged? What was the nature of the image? Real and inward field. Right? Let us see two more observations. We will not note down the image distances, but let us observe this. So, when the object is placed at F, that is focus, we know that the image is formed at infinity. Now, infinity means a large distance compared to the focus. And you can see we cannot obtain a sharp image on the screen when screen is closer to the lens. But you can see that a nice beautiful real inverted and a large image is obtained on the wall. Correct? If this wall was little beyond, maybe we would have got a sharper image. Right? This is a beautiful large image. Alright? When the object is placed between optical center and the focus, we see that the image cannot be obtained on the screen or the wall. So we know that when the object is between optical center and focus, the image is formed on the same side of the object. It is a virtual image and erect image okay you can see it inside the lens it is formed on the same side of the object so you can see a beautiful enlarged virtual erect image of this object all right isn't it beautiful now let us write down what we concluded from these experiments. The conclusion is the position, nature and size of the image are according to the theoretical predictions. Okay. So, learning with experiments is always enjoyable. I am sure you must have enjoyed and understood this activity that is the formation of images by a concave mirror and a convex lens very well. That's all in this session. See you next time.